Bastogne is a small town in Belgium's Wallonia region on the crossing of the rivers Rhine and Meuse, and lies beautifully nested in a lush green valley. It was in and around Bastogne where one of the biggest and bloodiest World War II battles took place at the Battle of the Bulge. Today, the town's identity is wrapped up in the knowledge of that battle and in honoring the sacrifices of the soldiers who fought. Many of the attractions, activities, and sites in Bastogne have a battle association and historical connection. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Bastogne, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Place McAuliffe. The old town of Bastogne has a grand central square called Place McAuliffe. It is named after the US General McAuliffe, who was responsible for leading the American troops to a victory and liberating the town during World War II. A Sherman tank of the 11th Armored Division is on display at the corner of the square, next to the bust of General McAuliffe. Number 9 is Bastogne War Museum. The Bastogne War Museum is a World War II museum focusing on the Battle of the Bulge. It is located a few kilometers northeast of the Bastogne city center. This comprehensive and interactive museum details the events leading up to the Battle of the Bulge, the conflict itself, and the aftermath. Unveiled in 2014, the museum is laid out in chronological order and visitors are able to walk through wearing headsets. The amazing setup, abundant comprehensive information, and the many 3D videos make the visit an emotional and must-see experience. At number eight is Lake of Lestrange. The lovely Lake of Lestrange, close to Bastogne, is a favorite place for people who love walking, hiking, beautiful scenery, and for those who are simply looking for a piece of amazing nature. The splendid lake is full with trout and carp, and is a very popular spot for fishing. Number 7 is St. Peter's Church, Bastogne. This flamboyant Gothic Hall church was built in the 15th century and is fronted by a Romanesque square tower. Inside the church, the paintings depict scenes from the Old and New Testaments and effigies of patron saints. With multicolored ceiling rafters, an attractive Baroque pulpit, and the remarkable baptismal fonts made from chalk from the River Meuse, the church is a beautiful historic site. At number 6 is the Bastogne Barracks. The Bastogne Barracks Museum was opened in 2010. It is located in the barracks that accommodated the Allied headquarters during the Ardennes Offensive in 1944. Restored parts of the barracks exhibit a collection of materials and weapons used in the fighting. The barracks are also home to all sorts of military vehicles that are part of the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces Military Collections. The Vehicle Restoration Center keeps the historical tanks and other engines in perfect condition for visitors to admire. Number 5 is the Original Museum of Ardennes. The Original Museum of the County of Ardennes is located 55 yards away from the Place McAuliffe. While one section is dedicated to military and civilian life during the Battle of the Bulge, this museum also explores other aspects of the area's history, including ancient tools and regional zoology. At number 4 is the Martisan Memorial. This outdoor monument honors the 78,690 American soldiers injured, missing, or killed during the Battle of the Bulge and celebrates the long friendship between America and Belgium. The towering structure was built in the shape of a five-pointed star, like the one on the American flag. Badges from the main battalions that fought here adorn the outer walls. A spiral staircase allows access to the walkway at the summit, which offers visitors a panoramic view of the area. Number three is the 101st Airborne Museum. The 101st Airborne Museum in Bastogne is located in the former officer's mess building of the Belgium Army. A large collection of original items from the Battle of the Bulge makes this museum worthwhile to visit. Different scenes of wartime are brought to life in realistic settings, with mannequins that take visitors back to the cold winter of 1944, when the battle took place. At number 2 are the Woods of Peace. To mark the 50th anniversary of the Battle of the Bulge, locals planted 4,000 trees to honor the soldiers and civilians present during the awful siege. Each of the trees has a small marker bearing the name of an American soldier. Birches, oaks, and beech trees were chosen and planted to make the beautiful woods of peace. And at number one is Animaline, a living wool museum and animal park. Animaline is an interactive museum on the theme of wool and ancient trades. Visitors have the opportunity to visit the animal park, housing 25 species of animal wool, and then discover the different stages and techniques of working wool going from the beginning of the 20th century to the present day. 
The last stage of the visit is a journey back in time, in the heart of a reconstructed period house that unveils the life and trades of the past. There is also a snack bar, local produce shop, playground, and barbecue area available at the site. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Bastogne. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.